Hi, it's Troy at the Full Setup here back with another video for you today and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your AMD RX 580 to 1500MHz core and 9GB per second memory using MSI Afterburner. Now a couple of things you're going to need before you start this video is you're going to need an 8GB version of the card because this comes with the 8GB um, 8 gigabytes per second memory. I would also recommend as well you need to try and find an AMD graphics card because at the moment they just seem to be sold out everywhere due to like Bitcoin mining and stuff as you can see they're all up for pre-order but if you've already got one that'd be great but the one thing I wouldn't recommend doing the 1500 megahertz overclock with is if you've got maybe a cheaper RX 580 I've what you're gonna need is one that's got an 8 pin plus a 6 pin power connector as you can see here we've only got an 8 pin and now what that means is we've only got a 1340 megahertz core as in the graphics card that we're using today which is my RX 580 Nitro Plus is an 8 pin plus 6 pin we're already at a 1411 megahertz core so it's not going to be so hard to get up to 1500 megahertz and also it's the extra power I'm not saying you can't do it with an 8 pin I just don't think it's going to be so stable to run it up to 1500 megahertz now there's two bits of software we're going to need today for doing the overclocking we're using MSI afterburner there's a link in the description just go to the downloads here and we'll just download that and then you can install that and then also why we're doing the overclocking as well we're going to need something that's testing the graphics card that's going to stress test it now I still use even though it's from 2009 I use um, what is this heaven benchmark Unigen heaven benchmark so you can just download that as well you could use their newer version as well what's that superposition but yeah heaven benchmark will work absolutely fine for this overclocking so we've got both of those installed and obviously you're taking this at your own risk I'm going to try and talk to you through it as much as I can. Before we tweak any settings, I'm just going to show a little bit on MSI Afterburner. I do apologise to anyone that's been using Afterburner for quite a bit of time, but I just get asked quite a lot of videos in these, so I'm just going to briefly show a few things in Afterburner. Now, here you can see we're rocking a overlay here, and we're running at the stock 1411 megahertz. We haven't tweaked any seconds so far. Now, that overlay is done by River Tuner. Now, this program installs, it comes bundled with MSI Afterburner. Now to change these settings you click off on the settings tab and then you go to on screen, not on the screen display, you go to monitoring um, and then you just click on what you want so you click on it and then you go show in on screen display and then you can do all the different tweaks and how you want it to look in River Tuna. Now the ones I recommend that you probably are going to want is like core clock, memory clocks, you know we need to see how everything's running but if you just want to set it up like mine I'll just quickly go through it so you can see what I've got turned on. Loads of CPUs because this is a Ryzen 8 core and just have all those things turned on. Obviously you can see the monitoring here but you're going to want this when you do gaming because you don't just want this to judge your overclock. Now other settings you definitely need set on so I hope you haven't skipped this part of the video if you have used Afterburner before. Start with Windows and start minimised I'm sure yeah, Afterburner people you know about that. Basically, the overclocks are software based, you know, they're not done at a BIOS level, so you want it to start minimized. That's how you want it to start. Because um, when I'm MSI Afterburn is running, you're not running your overclock. Then you want unlock voltage control, because we are going to have to do some voltage tweaks to hit 1500 megahertz. And then you want unlock voltage monitoring. And then also for gaming as well, just a little thing that you're going to want ticked is this enabled unified GPU usage monitoring. The reason you want that ticked is you'll find with AMD cards the FPS will drop, jump from like 100 to 70 and there's no bottleneck, there's no GPU bottleneck. Once you tick that, that basically just sorts all that out. So there's just a few settings. So I'm going to close heaven for a second. And we're going to do some tweaks. Now, the first thing we want to do is the core clock. So we're going to set the core clock to 1500 megahertz. And we need to see if your RX 58 you can do 1500 megahertz. Now, you could run heaven again now um, with no voltage increases and no power increases, but it's probably going to crash. You definitely want to increase your power limit to plus 50%. So that's going to let the uh, graphics card get extra power. But now you can test, you can run heaven again without core voltage increase, without um, increasing the voltage. Now I'm not going to do that today because I know it will crash. If I run heaven, it will crash. It will run for about all of 30 seconds and it will probably crash. Now as for voltage, as you can see here we've got the voltage meter that we turned on earlier. Now you don't really want it to be going over much over 1.25. As long as we're staying under there most of the time, it's fine. Now I found if you max the core voltage out here... So we're going to set maximum core voltage and we're going to run heaven. We're going to see how this voltage handles. 
I tried doing this at different stage voltages and it kept crashing. This is about the fourth time we've had to shoot this bit of the video. If it crashes now, we know we can't do 1500 megahertz. So here we go, 1500 megahertz, 1500 megahertz, and here you can see the core voltage is under our 1.25. We're under that. Now you can tweak the voltage down a bit, which I'm not gonna do today. If I tweak voltage while this is running or even while this is open, I can get the occasional crash. But the voltage that I'm actually running is plus two four. So it's up to you if you wanna drop the voltage down. But I recommend you just go with the max voltage. If it's under there, fine. And then you can do a bit of tweaking. Now, if you've got this max voltage, 1500 megahertz set and it won't run, then you can't do 1500 megahertz. So I recommend that you probably set that to 1475 then run it again and see if that works. If it doesn't work, then drop down to 1450. Now it's probably gonna run at 1450 and then you can just up it in five increments. So just find a sweet spot between 1450 and 1500 megahertz. Now I also recommend that you let this run for about an hour or so just to make sure it's fine. Um, and then we will have a look at doing some memory overclocking. Okay, let's talk about memory. Now, at the end of that, did you see that it just hanged? Like, talk about demos and things never go right. Now, I've done loads of gaming footage with this, and I know it absolutely runs fine. So, we just had a little little blip there, a little bit of stuttering unage in heaven, but we're happy now. We've got 1500 megahertz working. You've left it for an hour or so. You're happy with it. So, let's close down this again. And now, we're going to look at the memory. Now, here you can see it's at 2000. Now, if you times that by four, you get 8000, and that is your eight gigabytes per second. So now you want to see if your memory can do 9 gigabytes per second. So to do that, you max that out. Set that up to the max, and we've got 2,250. If you times that by 4, you've got 9,000. So that will give you 9 gigabytes per second on the memory. And again, this is for the 8 gigabyte graphics card. For the 4 gigabyte graphics card, I imagine you're probably only going to be able to overclock the memory to maybe 2,000 megahertz if it's 7 gigabytes per second. But we've got the good model, so we're going to go like that. I've also forgot to mention for the fan speed as well. Now I've set it to 50 here just for your audible ears, but I also recommend that you set your fan speed to 100% when overclocking, um, when you're leaving that running. So let's just run that again. Hopefully nothing's gonna crash on me. Gonna run. Okay, so now we've got the 1500 megahertz, you've got 2250 megahertz on the memory, you can see it all running here on Afterburn as well, we're in a safe level of voltage, temperatures are absolutely fine, so you're going to leave that to run now for another hour, then you're going to play some games. When you're happy with all of that, you can then save that to a profile, so if you click down here, save that to a profile, and I'm just going to save that to profile 1. What I normally do as well, save that to profile 1. Save. I click that one. So save to profile one. And then what I normally do is as well, I just save the standard profile to profile two, which is that. Because you will find with the occasional game, it doesn't like your overclock. Then you click on here so it starts with Windows. Well, on that one, start with Windows. Gonna lock it down. Done. There we go. 1500 megahertz, once that's out of the way, nine gigabytes per second on the memory as well. So if you like that video, tell me why. If you don't like it, tell me why. Um, and please as well, if you're using a different graphics card to this, please post your scores. Let us know how you're getting on with it. Um, and I'll be back for another video really soon. And just remember, you do this at your own risk. Try not to blow it up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.